And the story is about someone who actually did ask for God's help. She played the lottery and she won. And it is called From the Lottery to a Life of Piety, The Conversion of a Widow. Do stay tuned, there's also a special prayer right at the end asking the Holy Family for their protection. Hello friends of Following Padre Pio. My name is Edward Urban and on this channel, Following Padre Pio, we take a glimpse into the supernatural life of Padre Pio, the Capuchin monk, mystic and miracle worker. And we offer you a series of short stories. So please do stay tuned to this channel and we hope that you will be amazed to find out what Padre Pio's intercession can do for you or for someone you love. And we ask that you support us in our Padre Pio apostolate by liking our videos, sharing it with your friends and colleagues, and also if you have not subscribed, then do subscribe to our channel and click that notification bell. Have you ever been in a tight spot and made a promise to God that you'll do something in return for Him if He helps you out? And then He does, He answers, and He actually does help you out. So in that situation, is one bound to keep the promise? A story takes place with a lady, a certain lady called Mam P. She wants to remain anonymous. And she, she was a war widow. After the death of her husband, the in-laws, her in-laws, were just not interested in her, her problems or her family. They seemed to have been quite a mean bunch. They did not even offer assistance to her or her two children. So how this had happened is during the last world war, she left town together with her two, two children to take refuge in the countryside. And during this time, while she was away, her in-laws took advantage of this to strip her of her house and her belongings. And then sometime later on, when the eldest son of Mampi um, was to receive his first communion, to make his first communion, the, the in-laws, they did not even give any help or offer anything, even the old clothes that had belonged to her husband, they would not give them back to her. Nothing to make amends. She was faced with these terrible prospects and in order to keep the family alive, she took up her job. She used to work for the tire manufacturer, manufacturer Michelin. So she went back there and she worked there again. The, even the family house, which would have been intended for her husband and would naturally then have passed on to her sons. Instead, she didn't have access to this. She had to go and rent an apartment, which just added to their economic difficulties. It just seemed a totally hopeless situation. And she was, of course, in need of some good advice, some solid advice from someone she could trust. What should she do now that everything had just collapsed around her? And she thought perhaps she should make a trip and go and see Padre Pio in San Giovanni Rotundo. But she did not have sufficient money for this trip for the three of them to make the journey. So instead she thought about maybe she can play the lottery. And she went out and bought a ticket and asked the one above, I guess that's God, please help me win because I am in a lot of need. And before this, when she had spoken to her colleagues, they just laughed at this idea. And, but she was insistent. And she dug in her heels and she said, well, what would you do in my situation, in this difficult situation? If you found this, yourself in the same place, what would you do? So after a while, they, they advised her, well, just take these numbers. And they gave her the numbers 2, 18 and 50. That Monday, she went and played the Wheel of Chance in Florence. And... She was amazed because on Saturday, she found out that she had won 86,000 lira. It was a happy day for her. So now she had the money and she could go and visit Padre Pio. But instead, she went and bought a whole lot of things for the house. And she was even overheard to make the remark to her brother, what was this nonsense of an idea trip to San Giovanni Rotundo? And she went and spent all the money. Her eldest son realized what had happened and he was not very impressed about this. He even told her, but mom, if you don't keep your word like this, how are we ever going to trust you? How are we ever going to be able to trust you again? Well, a short while later, the poor lady, um, she decided, let's go and play the lottery again. And this time she said, if Padre Pio helps me, I will go to San Giovanni Rotundo. <laughs> so what are the chances of winning twice in a row? 
she played a second time and this time she won 25,000 lira. So what was she going to do now? Well of course she went out and she bought herself a new dress and pants for the children. And they made their journey to San Giovanni Rotundo. They had enough there to stay in a private residence with someone that they were taken care of. She had to wait in San Giovanni Rotundo for 14 days to have her confession heard. The confession, confession queue was quite long at this stage. And after those 14 days, she could go to have her confession heard. But in the meantime, she had made use of her time by going to Padre Pio's Mass. And she was so impressed in the Mass, overawed with, uh, with the Mass of Padre Pio's Mass. She described it, she said, I saw Padre Pio in direct contact with God. His hands were bleeding. That's from the stigmata, right? I'm sure he was reliving the very scene of Calvary, standing right there by Our Lady's side. And every morning she was there very early, even before the doors opened, and she went inside at 4 a.m. she was there. Then she would pray before the altar while our saint celebrated his Mass. And she observed as his soul appeared to suffer, go through a suffering of the crucifixion. She observed all of this. At this time, she had been living with a man, and he really loved her, he really adored her, but they were not married. And so during all of her prayers, she resolved to cut this relationship and to just tell Padre Pio everything. He could advise her. When her turn came, she approached the confessional and she was very emotional. She was trembling. And because of all these strong emotions, she could hardly make any sense. All that she could say was, how can I live as I have been? And she wanted to make a general confession. She just wanted to get everything behind her, everything cleared out of the way. So Padre Pio asked her, um, for the sins of the past of your past life, are you truly sorry? Yes, she said, that is the reason I am here. I want to live as I have these past few days in San Giovanni Rotundo. So something good had come out of this 14 days of waiting to have her confession heard. Then Padre Pio said, then be at peace with God. Now come here to the round to the front of the confessional. So she went around to the front of the confessional. And then with the saint, she made an examination of her conscience. And then he absolved her. And he placed his hands on her head for a while. And that was it. The confession was over. After that, she returned to her house. And she advised the man that she had been living with that he must rather go and marry his previous girlfriend with whom he already had a child. And that is exactly what he did. Well, Ma'am P, as we call her, she resolved never to marry again. So her experience had, St. Giovanni Rotundo had been so overwhelming, she now wanted to live this life. And even though one of her children had health problems, she just continued, she worked at a job, and she also received her war pension from her husband that's six years after his death. And it seems that Padre Pio really protected them. Because after some time, even the health of her son was healed completely. That is the story. And next we'll go over this prayer to the Holy Family. And this prayer in fact comes from the book, The Most Beautiful Prayers of St. Alphonsus. And that is St. Alphonsus of Liguri, who was the founder of the Redemptress. And this book was written by Father St. Omer. And here we make our petition to the sacred family, that is to Jesus, Mary and Joseph. So it's to Jesus and his parents. For protection of our families, with through also asking for the intercession of St. Pio, of Padre Pio. So we begin. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Dear Jesus, who by your virtues and your example of family life have consecrated the family which you chose on earth. Look mercifully on our family. Prostrate at your feet and asking to you to be propitious. Remember that this house belongs to you. It was dedicated and consecrated to your honor, to honor you with special worship. Protect us in your goodness. Free us from dangers. Come to our aid in our needs. Grant us the strength to always persevere in imitating the Holy Family, so that we may remain attached to your service and love throughout our earthly life. 
May we sing your eternal praises in heaven. O Mary, most sweet mother, here we are begging for your protection, certain that your divine and only Son will respond to your prayers, and also the glorious Saint Joseph grant us the support of your powerful patronage by placing our wishes in the hands of Mary so that she may present them to Jesus. Jesus, Mary and Joseph, enlighten us, help us and save us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And just a reminder, if you are new to our channel, then please join us in our Padre Pio apostolate. Like our videos, share our videos. If you haven't already, then do subscribe to our channel. You'll have to click that reminder bell too afterwards.